patio place where we are now. They're all about that. So crepes is a big key of it, but they also take different recipes from all over the world and they bring it in here. It, and you it, met up with it, Amy, the owner. Truly is so amazing. A few months ago, local blogger Mackenzie Fussell showed us around her home in Fernandina Beach. And one of her favorite places, and now it's one of ours, is right here at the patio place. Take a look. Troy of the patio place. It's your restaurant and I can see why Mackenzie loves it. The atmosphere is great. Can you tell us a little bit about how you sure. came up with everything? Well, I've done 27 years in the IT industry, so this is my second career. Um, and the last eight years in the industry allowed me to travel quite a bit. So in 2009, my husband and I were in North, uh, North California and we ended up in a little crepe restaurant on a Saturday afternoon, and it was fabulous outside of a farmer's market. Um, I thought, man, Fernandina could use something different like this. So I put that idea in my pocket, and the very next year they sent us to Singapore for a year. So we stayed there for a year, and we tasted all sorts of eclectic food, Chinese, Malaysian, Thai, Singaporean, and it was wonderful. So when we came back, I basically hit my midlife crisis. Um, I always thought I would have four kids never did it's just the cards that the lord dealt me so i started to pray on what i would do with my life next where could i make my mark on the world and I never dreamed of opening a restaurant um, but one day my girlfriend and i were um, looking at places she's a real estate agent and i walked through the front door of this building and i immediately knew i would do what i would do crepes with international flavors amazing and you know i was looking at the menu and when i mentioned to you that it's very inexpensive you said that Fernandina has enough high end and kind of fast food yes. now it's time yeah. for something like right there in the middle the feel is what i think really stands out and i know that's what mackenzie said she yeah, loves too the atmosphere mm -hmm. that's my concept i'm not a turn and burn place right. i just really want people to just hang out i created an atmosphere that we just let you hang out. Great. And what are we what are we enjoying today? Oh, we're gonna make you two things. Um, we didn't name ourselves a crepery because we wanted people to enjoy lots of different eclectic foods. So we're gonna bring you a crepe, a Mediterranean crepe, and we're also gonna bring you our uh, famous French dip sandwich. It's famous. Let's find out why. I'm in love with this crepe. I want to marry it. <laughs> it's so thin and perfect. Amy, how did you learn how to do this? Well, when I cracked up this idea, I'm thinking, how am I going to learn how to make crepes? Well, you wouldn't learn that in Colorado, right? So I Googled it online, and I found a little crepery in Brittany, France, on the coast. And my husband and I flew to Brittany, and we spent 40 hours in this little lady's um, crepery. And she taught us everything from the batter, which is authentic France crepe batter, um, the savory is made with buckwheat, which is gluten-free, which has been a huge hit around the town. Sure. And then the savory is just like they make them in France as well. And um, we make them on these authentic machines called a billig, which we bought out of France as well. So it was quite the trip. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the tour and also for helping us find Amy's new restaurant, the patio place, because you're a block off center. I think it's worth for people to, you know, really look for you, but uh, worth the trip to downtown Fernandina. So good. We will have more time with Amy. In fact, you're cooking some crepes up yeah, in the Yeah, and guess we're going to put in there? Shrimp. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Why that. Not? Imagine that. And that's coming up later on in the show. I actually made another trip after doing that with uh, Mackenzie and our producer, Abigail. We did that little segment. And then I made a trip up here pretty recently with my daughter, the girl child, Chloe, who has a gluten intolerance. So many items on their menu, including some of the crepes do not have gluten. So that was a really nice thing. In fact, I've already been tasked with what I'm supposed to bring back. Uh, oh, good. Today. And you know what, too? I'm going to bring my wife back here because she loves eating outdoors. And, like, look at this patio area. Oh, yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous. As soon as I walked out here right away, I'm like, i got to bring my wife here. <laughs> you, know, you guys yeah. were giving me grief yesterday about my cooler. I got you, Eden. I brought oh, my yeah, cooler. Yeah. Some take-home stuff. He travels I with, got you. You got your little right. fanny pack for little gidgets and tchotchkes yes. that you gather around yes. from all different areas around the 904. <laughs> and then you got your cooler with some ice just ready to load up with food. My food is not going bad, people. It's going to be at quality temperature, and this is going to be a great place to bring home some scram. <laughs> so, 